Hello everybody! Welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We're going to be painting a really adorable birthday card. Um, you can actually turn it into a variety of greeting, greeting cards if you are creative with the, uh, with the B saying. So this is going to be B themed. Um, the first thing I want to do is just pencil in a circle. Now, what would be probably easier is if you already had a circular object. Um, is this too big, too small? I'm using my soap dispenser. Another excellent reason, or benefit, I should say, of painting in the bathroom. Okay, so that's not totally circular because obviously my pencil wasn't flush with the um, soap dispenser, but at least we have a bit of a guide to go off of there. We have a general, like I can s barely see it, which is good enough. Because um, we're going to be just painting a little thing around our B. So just have a rough circle. So the next thing, um, we are going to have a B inside of our circle. And basically, uh, I'm debating whether I should first, yeah, I'm going to just trace it out for myself first or draw it, draw one just so I have a reference. So the body of my B is going to be like that big probably. Kind of draw yourself an egg shape if you want to freehand this. And the top, the head is going to look like this. And then the middle portion is going to look like this. And then the bottom. Something like that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take my eraser and just define, erase all the extra pencil marks that we don't need. And then uh, the, the wings are going to come out in the middle of our body here. I'm gonna do a close up closer so you can see what I'm doing. So there's gonna be a wing like this. And then a shorter one comes out like that. Something like that. And then I'll have leg, leg, antenna, antenna, um, a leg, 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 leg. So it's going to look something like that. I just have to fiddle with the wings a little bit. So next we are going to actually fill this B in. So, you know, ideally you probably want to erase your pencil marks. At least like the legs don't matter because those are going to be black. So you're not going to be able to see those through your watercolor anyways. But the body especially the the wings they you kind of want to erase the pencil marks so that it's not totally visible um, so I've kind of done that a little bit but I do want to see what I'm painting so I'm just gonna leave that the way it is <coughs> so this next part we are going to have to um, be very tactful uh, tactful is that a word Tac yeah with how we paint this. We're gonna start with the the body, like the middle ball. And what we wanna do, what I'm gonna, I'm actually going to use a little bit of yellow just so I can see what I'm painting. That's too much yellow. <laughs> um, ideally, you just wanna use water, but I can't see what I've covered if I just use water. 
So I'm taking yellow because uh, that's going to be one of the colors we're going to use for this portion anyway. And um, it's the lightest one, so all of the other colors that we subsequently use are going to be, um, what do you call it? Like, um, they're going to cover the, the yellow. So actually... I'm going to go ahead and just do the bottom as well because they're going to, the two are almost going to blend into one another. So might as well have them both prepped. So you want it wet, but you don't want it soaked. So keep that in mind. Okay. So the first step is loading your paintbrush with intense yellow and we're going to paint a thin stripe at the top like that so kind of from wing to wing in an arch then we're going to take brown and for all these you want to use really intense colors like Lots of color, not a lot of water. And so for this portion, I'm going to extend that yellow with brown all the way to the bottom on both sides. Like this. Okay. And then, actually I want to make that a little bit thicker. Both the brown and the yellow should be a little bit thicker like that and then i'm going to take black and i'm going to fill in that middle portion with the black And that black is going to go downwards. Into the second section. And we're going to do a curved line into the second circle like that. Okay, I'm gonna take the rest, go closer here. Hopefully I will stay on camera. Okay, just like that. So, actually we should make it a tad bit thicker because I made that bottom body ball pretty big. And now I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to pick up yellow, like that same yellow that we used for over here. And I am going to, right next to the black, just paint a curved line right underneath, just like that. Um, and then I am going to pick up brown. Do the exact same thing. And then I'm going to pick up black again. Do the same thing. And then that last section is just going to be white or clear. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of white watercolor, even though it's kind of pointless because it doesn't show up. But if we have a little bit of water with that white, it should allow the black to slightly bleed into it, 
which will create a nice effect. Just, I hope that was on the camera. <laughs> I, I don't remember or I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, so we've kind of got the colors of our bee down. Um, not too bad. So I'm going to take that white actually that I used earlier or that I used for this bottom portion here. And um, I'm going to use it for the wings because it's actually kind of this gray color. So, whoops, I don't know, somehow I picked up yellow. That's not what we want. There we go. So I'm gonna try and let that, those wings dry because we're gonna do a little something to spruce them up a little bit. Um, in the meantime, actually, I'm going to do the head of the bee. I made my the head of my bee a little bit too big. So I'm actually going to carefully erase the pencil. Oh my gosh, everything is falling on my table. Um, yeah, I erased that head and I'm going to make it a little bit uh, flatter, I guess you could say, than what I drew with the pencil. So the same shape, just not sticking out as much. Gosh, was that even on the camera? Okay, that's it. I'm zooming out so that I don't, so that I actually stay on the camera. Um, <clears throat> perfect. So hopefully our wings have dried enough because I'm gonna take, I'm switching to my quadruple zero, so super thin liner brush here. And uh, what I wanna do is cover up these pencil marks which I actually should have just erased in the first place. This is very risky because if the watercolor is still wet, which it is, I'm smudging it onto the white. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to outline these wings very, very lightly with black using my, my liner brush, my quadruple zero. And the thinner it is, the better it is because, you know, wings don't actually have a black outline around them and I'm also going to add this line that makes it look kind of like a wing so we're separating it into these little sections like a mosaic again as thin as you can if possible just like that so that looks a lot better than, than that side. So I think we did a good job. I'm just going to do the other side now. So this, the smaller wing of the two overlaps. It goes over that second one.
sort of like that. Okay, so next thing we want to do is give our little guy eyes. So I'm going to put one on either side of his head, overlapping with the brown. Cutie pie. <laughs> and I want to give him his antenna as well. So I'm kind of overlapping it with the top of his head. It looks like he has angry eyebrows. That's so funny. Uh, and now I'm going to do the legs. So the legs kind of have two sections. It's kind of, um, how do I explain it? There's this thicker part goes out to about there and then it turns into a thinner part sort of like that and correct me if I'm wrong I may be just totally making this up but I'm pretty sure these fuzzy thicker portions of their legs actually help with pollen collection like it they're furry so it gets stuck on there easier to transport pollen. Don't quote me on that. That is just my logic. So I'm also going to do the same thing for the legs on the bottom portion of the body where I'm going to make it thicker And then it's just going to go straight out from there. I'm going to erase those pencil marks later when the paint has dried. And then sort of the same deal going on for these ones. Just like that. I hope that was on screen. So, oh, that bee came out looking so cute. So, um, great. We've got the most complicated part done, which is fabulous. Now we can focus on the fun part. Well, I mean, that was fun too, but, you know. So this next part, we're going to create this, this cute little floral arrangement around this bee. Um, so we're going to need yellow, orange, green. Uh, so I am going to first paint the flowers of this arrangement and then the greenery that attaches it. So I'm grabbing my yellow because that's going to be my primary color for this. And I mean, you can paint these flowers however you like, really. Um, you can make them very abstract looking. Uh, whatever you want. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> but just basically little yellow flowers, blobs of color, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, but they're all going to be joined with greenery. And you can paint, like, your flowers don't have to be yellow. You can, you can choose whatever color you'd like.
Okay, so I got, I kind of went all the way around. What I'm gonna do is pick up a little bit of orange and just add some orange into there in random places to make it more colorful. And while those are drying, we'll just, we'll touch them up later. Um, I'm going to switch to my green. So you can use whatever green you've got. I'm going to mix a little bit of lime green in with what I've already got. Here, I'll show you what I've already got going on on my palette here. And we're going to try and follow that circle. So it's basically going to be a circle of green with little leaves and stems and stuff coming from it. <clears throat> so you can paint it very abstractly. It does not have to look amazing and professional. In fact, the, the more kind of abstract it looks, I think the better it's going to look because our B is, is so, um, it's not abstract, very detailed. Okay, so we've got our basic circle down. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna go in a little bit later and just add some details. I'm worried my battery is going to die on my, on my uh, camera. Uh, so I have to make a quick decision here what I'm gonna do, whether I'm gonna just move on to the last step or no. I'm gonna try and add some more details. So I mean, I switched to my quadruple zero brush here. And I'm just adding some some extra details to my greenery portion. So I'm defining some of the leaves a little bit more. And um, you can do whatever you'd like. Mine is just looking a little bit bare, so I do want to add some leaves and, you know, other things so it has a little bit more volume to it. And you could always go back and just add more uh, flowers to begin with, like you didn't put enough, like by all means. Add some more flowers coming from it. In 
in random places. I keep going off the camera. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to keep this the way it is. Uh, I'll, I'll go back and add some more details later, but they're not too important right now. What I do want to do is show you how I'm going to do the holiday or the greeting, the happy birthday greeting. So I want to do um, HAP, like H-A-P, and then dash B. So instead of happy birthday, it'll be hap, happy birthday. Do you know what I mean? Like in the B theme. <laughs> so I'll have the uh, hap. B and then birthday. Something like that. Oh my gosh, if that was not <laughs> if that wasn't on the camera, I'm sorry, but uh so do you get it? So H A P and then it'll be B. So instead of H A P P Y It'll be happy B birthday in the B theme. And then you can go over that with, um, you know, you can either do it with a marker or acrylic paint. With cotton paper, it's really hard to use m the marker that I always used on here because it's very coarse, the paper, because it's cotton. Um, so I don't know whether I'm going to use a marker or what I'm going to go over it with, but... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next tutorial.